Representatives from the Farrell Area School District show up in force at the PIAA's District 10 board meeting today. Reporter Nicole Lee joins us now with much more on why. Nicole? Sean, those speaking out at the meeting are demanding a stronger response to alleged racism against student athletes. They say District 10 board members are failing to understand what Farrell student athletes have endured. We are talking about severe, extreme racial issues. The Farrell Area School District Superintendent says her student athletes have been facing racism at athletic events for years. She, along with the district's athletic director and a board member, addressing the District 10 board Wednesday morning, calling members out for what they call a lack of punitive action. District 10 has yet to, to my knowledge, sanction any school district. And so these issues continue and they get worse. The calls to action come after two separate alleged incidents in October. One involving boys from an opposing school mocking girls on the Farrell volleyball team by wearing hair bonnets. The other transpiring on social media with racial slurs, including the N-word directed at Farrell student athletes. I feel for for definitely our students. I know parents have definitely been been upset. You know, they don't. Nobody wants their kids to be put in this type of situation, um, especially with no resolve. Farrell's athletic director says he believes the District 10 board needs some diversity to be more representative of the students it serves. He says the board forced the victims of a racist incident to go to sensitivity training with the perpetrators. You know, if someone um, is doing something to you, why do you want to go do training with that, that, that school? So we didn't need the training, the school needed the training, but they, District 10 made us both go do it. We're hoping that District 10 will first of all take what we're saying seriously. Stop making excuses. District 10 Vice Chair Kirk Skirpa ran today's meeting in the board chair's absence. He did not respond to a request for an interview, but did say during the meeting that the board never ignores reports of racism and comes to a decision in every case. Sean. Nicole Lee reporting tonight.